Hello, in this video we are going to cover the sprite object. So quickly, what is a sprite? It's a way of representing a 2D image on your game. A sprite, for example, you could use it for a player. So you have a player sprite, you could have a sprite for the background, you could have a sprite for the various items in the hood, you could have a sprite for like a bullet that the player might fire, you could have a sprite for an enemy. So most of the things that you're going to be seeing in a game will be sprites and if they're not there might be a button okay so if you go to your object section right here we got like the sprite icon and to add it just drag it on to your scene zoom in a little bit and if we select our sprite it shows you the sort of node that you've added and he also says the type here. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, we got some sprite specific functionality. The image resource allows you to assign an image to it because at the moment it's just got some default blank rubbish image. And to do that, we literally just, add, plus also that's cool. If you hover over it, it tells you the support default types of PNG and JPEG. If you want alpha, do PNG. Sometimes for background, you might want to do JPEG. And if I just double click this, I can select an image if I go to desktop and I click double click this it also imports it into my project as well so this isn't referencing the image on the desktop it's actually imported it to my project and referencing it from my project folder so let's zoom out a bit because this image is mahoosy it's something I got off Google and what you can do you can right click if you hover over it, it tells you where the image path is. And as you can see, it's not on my desktop. If I right click, I can go open containing folder. Or you can right click, go copy file name. And just for, for now, I'm just literally just going to put it in here. So there we go. We got a little file name. And what we can... Oh, uh, nope, nope, nope. Just close down the features. Zoom back in. And if we scroll down, I can right click and also do copy the file physical path. And if I paste that into there, so it actually copies what is the physical path, aka, aka that. I can also right click and reset. So this basically resets it to the default image from now. And I can dr drag it back on. So what, are, what you notice, though I've reset it, the imported asset stays imported. You don't need to import it this way. You could right click and import resources that way. And if you already have imported asset and you want to assign it to your sprite, you just drag it on and you let go and it gets assigned to your sprite. So we've got some blend modes here, sourced. Um, so by default this GR1, this by default is GR1 minus source alpha. Generally, do not mess with this stuff unless you know what you're doing. There are a bunch of options. Generally not going to be covering these because these are just the way uh, the image is rendered. So for example, if I just start picking one you might think it's disappeared that's just the way that particular rendering mode works if I were to go to that like a DST color it's changed and I can go back to one and go to source color that's slightly changed like I said generally do not mess with it unless you know what you're doing you can change it from normal to additive and I would generally not mess with it unless I knew what I was doing so for the most part you won't need to deal with blend properties the normal additive button none of that you just need to deal with the image resource so that's a brief overview of the sprite object in Cocos Studio we'll have a link in the description to our Cocos API guide which shows you the code for actually implementing a sprite that you've added in Cocos Studio into your project, so whether that's Coco Studio X or Coco Studio JS, because it's different code for the for Coco Studio X and Coco Studio JS. Instead of us showing you the code in video, we've just got a link where you can check that out. If you have any further questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk for slash questions.php. Also, you do not need to remember that because there will be a link in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.